just like the weather. The state of my mind can change drastically within a day. What started as a beautiful morning can end in a storm of thoughts and tears. I want to walk my dog and cuddle with him. I want to explore nature. I want to be gardening and take care of my plants. I want to paint and create collages. I want to sing. I want to discover new instruments and make music. I want to do yoga and meditate. I want to prepare delicious and healthy food. I want to have time for tea and coffee rituals. I want to redecorate my space and read books full of wisdom. I want to learn how to film a starry night sky. I want to learn how to make sushi and what plants I can find here in the wild that you can eat. I want to be a good mom and take loving care of my children. I want to go on trips with my husband and have delicious lunch with him as often as possible. I want to live in a permaculture community for a while. I want to explore. I want to learn. I want to do, be and experience so much. Will there ever be enough time for it? As this all rushed through my head and the thought that I cannot even get two things like painting a new collection and sustaining YouTube done at the same time created, you guessed it, overwhelm. I started committing to this YouTube journey a little more than a year ago and I wanted to create weekly videos. After doing it for a few months I realized that it was either creating videos or creating a new collection of my earth pigment paintings or collages. Somehow I could not get both done at the same time, which made me sad. After a couple of months focusing on YouTube, I felt like I really needed to get back to my painting and collage practice. A new collection was born that I feel very proud of, but again, something's missing. When I finally sat down to edit some video material of me painting that collection, that spark went off again and I knew I need to return to create more videos. I decided to grab a big piece of paper and just start to write things down in search of clarity. Quiet peace, peace of mind away from hectic stress, distraction and overwhelm were the first things that I wrote down on that paper. A calm state of peacefulness and gratitude. That is the state I'd love to be in every day. And that is also what I want to give others through my artworks and the videos that I create. It is nice to have that clear, but there is so much more that I have to figure out. <laughs> I'm not pretending to have the answer to this, but while I was reflecting on my problem, I realized something that now seems so stupid and obvious to me. Why did I think I have to create YouTube videos that are something else than just taking people along on that journey of creating a new collection with me. I have no real answer to this. Maybe I thought it would be too boring, too much of the same thing. I somehow wanted to provide more value, I guess. My current plan to fight my problem and the overwhelm now looks like this. 
I created a weekly schedule for myself. Keep in mind that I only have four hours a day as I want to be there for my kids in the afternoon. So I only work in the mornings when they are in school. Mondays will be content planning and creation for social media for a whole week. On Tuesdays and Wednesdays I want to pick a few things of the list of things that I'd love to do, like painting. And I want to film them as well. On Thursday and Friday I want to edit the film material and publish a new YouTube video at the end of the week. This way I should be able to do both. Create art or do other things that I find enjoyable and important as well as creating weekly YouTube videos, which I enjoy doing so much as well. At this point in the video I have to interrupt myself. It is a week later now and I am still working on this video. So the schedule I just told you about, it just does not seem realistic for me. I love to get into details and create thoughtful, high quality videos and art. So maybe a video a week doesn't work for me. Posting daily on Instagram and spending my whole Monday work hours on creating daily social media content might also not be the best thing for me. Maybe posting every other day is enough. Maybe creating a YouTube video every two weeks is more sustainable and satisfying for me. It is a search of finding a rhythm that works for you personally. This is true for so many things in life. The best thing we can do, in my opinion, is to get to know ourselves as well as possible. And every once in a while, write down what things are really important to you. What dreams you have that you want to experience. Taking the time to write that down creates more clarity in your head and makes it much more likely that you actually take some steps towards those dreams. Let me know in the comments what tools you use or plan to use to get more clarity for yourself on how you want to live your life. I'd love to read about it. Take care my friend.